I just wanted to uh, give a little explanation of the video you just saw. As I saw you at the beginning, please watch this because some of it may be confusing to some of you. But um, we've got a uh, situation right now where I, I see a lot of people criticizing Ron Paul and others in particular for being negative. Now, the problem is, you see, we've got a situation where you can come into these debates and things and you can say, I'm going to do great things for the country. I'm going to end this. I'm going to stop that. And then they get in office and they don't do any of it and nobody ever holds them accountable okay now that's a real issue lying is not a crime so we have to be very discerning I mean um, I'm all for redemption stories but I'm not for redemption stories in the presidency of the United States okay in other words I don't want to take ex-convicts I don't want to take the guy Gingrich got the biggest fine for corruption in the history folks in the history, like a $300,000 fine, which is nothing considering what he's made selling himself in various ways, uh, selling himself out in various ways <laughs> to people, I'm sure. 
and many of those things are documented, uh, the things he's been involved in that were just, you know, he, he's responding to lobbyists like any of them. But anyway, uh, well, any of them pretty much. Ron Paul has maintained a consistent base, and I, I can't see anything wrong with the guy. I, I hear all kinds of criticism, but the biggest criticism is just that, you know, uh, evangelical Christians in particular, they, they've had this carrot hung out in front of them, and it's like, come on, you can, you can reach it. You can use the federal government as an arm of righteousness. No, 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 you can't. No, it's foolish. All that happens is things get more and more corrupt as you give the centralized authority more and more power, okay? The more power you give it, the more corrupt it gets because the people who have the big money know how to make an appeal on this or that and give you hope that yeah, you can stop abortion using the federal government. No, you can't. It'll never happen. You can't convince the masses that in various exceptions that it's not okay for the mother to kill her child or have her child killed. You're never going to convince everybody of that. It's a secular society overall. Uh, the best you can hope for is to reduce things to community level or at least state level, which is what Ron's trying to do. He's trying to get things back to that level where you can begin to say, okay, we've got a grasp on some of this at least. Federal government, you don't have any grasp on it. You may think you do, but you don't have any grasp. Watch the USS Liberty video to see the kind of things our government has done using this centralized corruption to um, do false flag operations, start wars, and uh, send people to be killed just so they can change monger, okay? That's not a good cause. <laughs> yeah, well anyway, it is for them, but it's not for, it's not for people's kids and it's not for the country. Uh, most of the people in the uh, positions that they worm their way into, and that's the problem, you can lie to get into those positions. And so let's be careful, and negativity is not a bad thing when you've got a guy saying, I'm going to do all this great stuff for you, <sighs> but in reality he's going to either get in and not do it, or he's going to throw the election like I think McCain did. McCain's on the insider. Uh, he's a Bilder Bilderberg friend. Uh, they meet illegally with foreign officials. Look up the Bilderberg group if you don't know what that is by now. <laughs> you know, you got just this um, ridiculous thing going on. Watch Endgame. The Endgame video documents the law that says you know you can't be a public official and go meeting with foreign officials in secret. And the reasons for that are obvious, I think. The reasons for uh, having to have citizenship and a continue a, a, of influence from a citizenship in America and not be a foreign exchange student from Indonesia like our current president. <laughs> you know, I think the reasons for that are kind of obvious too. We want people that, you know, have been vested in the whole structure and system here. We don't want the chance that they're bringing in an influence that's trying to subvert and take over our whole system. That's not the whole uh, intent behind it. We want to maintain uh, a direction that was set up in, in a country that was supposed to be a country where people at least have freedom of religion and things. I mean, uh, I, I talked to a lady from the IRS years ago who, ago who said in broken English, Oh, you should be glad you lose this freedom. Where I come from, we lose many more. Right, right. And these people are trying to introduce that system into our system so we can lose many more, okay? <laughs> now, uh, all I want to do is not be part of Social Security. Social Security means putting your security in society. And they're telling me I have lost the freedom not to be part of that. Well, no, I haven't. I just do a vow of poverty and, hey, you know, I don't make enough to do much more than pay rent. <laughs> and when I do, it's just, you know, I'm just trading with people. So, anyway, um, you know, we can, uh, you know, talk that blue in the face. I should do a whole video on that whole scenario, but uh, people that are called to put their trust only in God cannot be part of something that means putting your security in society. So we have some real issues here, and they need to be resolved. And I believe Ron Paul is the guy who is the best one to handle that right now, because he's going to bring things out of the federal domain and back into the state domain where they can be dealt with, and there can be contrast between states. You can say this state made crummy laws, this one made good laws, Look, all the people are bailing out of the state that made crummy laws and they're bankrupting themselves, okay, instead of the whole country bankrupting itself, you see? And then the state can learn, hopefully, and compensate because they have a contrast right near them. This is a good idea. Vote for Ron Paul. He's the only guy that's hardline on this. 
I think Bachman gets some of it. I think Santorum gets some of it. I think the rest of them are either, you know, like Perry and Gingrich are both uh, part of the whole Bilderberg thing, I think. They're all meeting with, with foreign officials and selling us out. So let's, let's be aware of what's going on. All right, have a good day.